I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are comparing two minimal leather sneakers, the Koyo Capri Triple White and the Common Project's Original Achilles. Let's get to it. So I'm focusing on these two brands, which are in a higher price category. Obviously, the Common Project's Achilles is the sneaker that everyone's always looking for, a lower priced, similar quality alternative to. There are lots of sneaker brands out there that do a shoe like this. I've only tried a handful. However, if you want an incredibly thorough, insightful, fair, and honest comparison of nearly the complete range of minimal white leather sneakers, we're talking from the $60 Stan Smiths all the way up to the $400 plus Common Projects, I highly recommend checking out my friend John's video over on the Cavalier. He's done a few of them. I'll link to them down below. I've worn Common Projects for seven years now. Uh, I've owned three pairs in that seven years. The pair you'll see today in this video are pretty much brand new. So I would say I get three to three and a half years out of a pair, and that's with very heavy, frequent wear. I'll be honest and say that I've never really actively searched for a lower priced alternative. I absolutely love the first pair of Common Projects that I owned. They were comfortable, they lasted a very long time, great quality, and I love the silhouette and the style. And once I find something that I like like that uh, and it's high quality, I'm totally willing to pay the price for that particular item. Now that doesn't mean that you can't find something similar of similar or equal quality at a lower price, and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So why are Common Projects 400 plus dollars? Well, first, Common Projects is a luxury brand. So you pay that luxury premium or that luxury tax, if you will, for the name. So there's a markup because of that, and there's a markup because they don't sell them themselves. They sell them through other luxury retailers like Mr. Porter, Scents, Farfetch, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. The brand needs to make money, the retailers need to make money, so the price gets marked up. Third, they're high quality. High quality materials, great construction, and you're paying for that too. Enter the direct to consumer brands of which Koyo is just one of many. By cutting out the middleman, meaning the retailer, and selling directly to you, brands like Koyo are able to offer a similar quality product at a much lower price point. So how do these gears stack up? The Koyo Capri Triple White and the Common Project's Original Achilles? Let's take a closer look. So what I'm gonna do here is to go through all the details of the Koyo Capri Triple White and then all the details of the Common Project's original Achilles. We'll talk about the similarities between the two, I'll point out the differences, we'll do a full comparison side by side, and then finally, I'll give you my opinion about which I think is better. All right, the Koyo Capri Triple White. Koyo, the brand founded in 2015, so relatively new, by two German sneaker enthusiasts. The shoe is made by hand in the Marche region of Italy. It's constructed with a Vitello calf leather, which is known for its smooth feel and durability. Lining is leather. It's a soft Italian calf leather for most of it, and then a suede finish in the heel cup. Wax cotton laces. It has a margam sole, very durable and lightweight. Hand-painted edges. There is Koyo branding on the heel, on the tongue, and on the sole available in US sizes 7 through 13, no half sizes, and priced at $248. Now we're looking at the Common Project's original Achilles. The brand launched in 2004 as a collaboration between two guys, Flavio Girolami and Prathan Pupat. It's a New York-based company. The shoe itself is manufactured in the Marche region of Italy, made with an Italian Napa leather that is hand-stitched. Lining is leather as well with a suede finish in the heel cup cotton laces, margam sole, no branding to speak of other than uh, inside the footbed, and then you do have the numbers in gold on the side of the shoe back near the heel. Uh, those three sets of numbers correspond to the style number, the European size, and the color number. Available in European sizes 37 to 46, price $410. Let's take a look at some of the similarities now. Number one, the style. These shoes have basically the same exact shape, profile, and silhouette. From the side, they look similar. From the top, they look similar. Even from a short distance, they look pretty much exactly the same. Next, they both have the Margam sole. It's lightweight, it's durable, and it's become that sort of gold standard among sneakers in this class. Third similarity is that both of these shoes are extremely comfortable. In my experience, they do take a little bit of time to break in. It is leather after all, but after they are broken in, the leather is very supple and they feel great on the feet. 
Now onto the differences. The first and biggest difference, obviously, is the price. Koyos are 248, Common Projects 410. Over a $160 difference, it's the price you pay for luxury and not being direct to consumer. These shoes are very similar, however, there are some small differences in terms of the details. On the toe box, you can see there's a slight difference in the angle of the leather coming down. The Koyos are straighter and the Common Projects have a little bit of a curve to them. From the side, on both sides actually, the Koyo has an extra piece of leather, whereas the Common Projects just has some stitching. You can make a case that it's more minimal perhaps with just the stitching. Uh, at the top of the tongue, the Common Projects has a little more padding and the Koyo does not. The Koyo does, however, have more padding around the ankle than the Common Projects. And then on the heel, you can see a larger piece of leather on the Koyo than on the Common Projects. And then also a little extra strip running down where again, the Common Projects is just stitched. Laces, fairly similar, uh, though the Koyo laces are wider than the Common Projects. Branding. Significantly more branding on the Koyo than the Common Projects. You have the Koyo logo on the heel, sole, and underneath the tongue. And then on top of the tongue, you have their like little graphic logo. Common Projects has the logo inside the shoe on the footbed, and then of course, the gold numbers on the side. Sizing. Now, I found a slight difference between the two. Now, both of these shoes are a European size 42, but as you can see, the Common Projects are slightly, and I mean very slightly, longer than the Koyos. Uh, same goes for the width, but here we have the Koyos being slightly wider. Uh, and when I say slightly, I mean like, like half a millimeter. And finally, the weight. There is a weight difference. Koyos are slightly heavier than the Common Projects. Koyos weigh in at 514 grams, that's 18.1 ounces or 1.13 pounds, and the Common Projects are 491 grams, that's 17.3 ounces or 1.08 pounds. Not saying you can feel a difference, but one shoe is heavier than the other. Full comparison now, side by side, head to head. Koyos on the left, Common Projects on the right. Starting with where they're produced, now both of these shoes are produced in the Marche region of Italy. Construction. Both use Italian leather. The Koyos use a Vitello calf leather. Common Projects use a Napa leather. I will say though that the two leathers feel pretty much exactly the same. Maybe the Common Projects is a little bit smoother, but not a huge noticeable difference if there is any at all. Sole, both have the Margam sole. Style and aesthetics, it's the same profile. There are some very minor stylistic differences, but I'm gonna say they both score points here and we're gonna call it a tie. Branding, there is more branding on the Koyos, but one could argue that it's more subtle than the gold numbers on the Common Projects. Comfort, both shoes are very comfortable, tied there as well. Price, no comparison here with the Koyos at 248 and the Common Projects at 410. Koyo definitely comes out in front. Now the big question is which is better, the Koyo Capri Triple White or the Common Projects Original Achilles? I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. And the concept of what is better, uh, especially in this case where, as you can see, the shoes are so comparable, really becomes a little subjective, price aside. On that note, if you want this style of sneaker, the white leather minimalist sneaker, and you are trying to decide between the Koyo and the Common Projects, but price is a concern, I would buy the Koyo Capri Triple Whites without hesitation. You are getting a premium product that is exceptionally similar to the higher priced Common Projects. If price is not a concern, the decision is really up to you. They're both great sneakers. As we've established in this video, they're both similar. There are some very subtle stylistic detail differences. You are getting a little bit more of that luxury brand experience and quote unquote status with the common projects. You'll just have to weigh whether that is worth 160 extra dollars for you. No judgment. I've had three pairs of Common Projects. I have and wear the Koyo Capri Triple Whites. I've worn sneakers by M. Gemini and Suit Supply, which are also similar. Bottom line is that either one of these shoes is a great pick. What you need to decide for yourself is how much are you willing to spend. So what are your thoughts about Koyo versus Common Projects? Have you tried both of them? Are you on the fence? What do you think are the pros and cons of each? Leave those comments down below. If this video helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications every time we publish a new video. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.